14 fascinating man-made substances. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers' comments. Fly Fishing, the Southeast, had this to say. All of your vids are friggin' awesome. Thank you so much for commenting, Fly Fishing. And don't forget to subscribe. And now, back to our video. Number 14, Vanta Black. Behold, what is officially known as the world's darkest material ever is Vanta Black. The blackest of all blacks that puts all the rest to shame, the material is actually made out of carbon nanotube arrays that are vertically aligned. The reason it's so dark is that light gets trapped by the tubes and eventually dissipates into heat instead of bouncing off. It was created by a British company called Surrey Nanosystems. The material is only to be used by one artist named Anish Kapoor, and this has outraged many other creators in the artistic community and started a quote, war of pigment with fellow artist Stuart Semple, who created the world's pinkest pink. Number 13, Prince Rupert's Drop. These little glass beads are created when molten glass is dripped into cold water and gives them their tadpole shape. What's so incredible about these little glass materials is that the head portion is highly sturdy. They're capable of withstanding a speeding bullet or even a whack with a hammer. The funny thing, however, is that if you were to break the tail end, it would instantly cause a chain reaction and the whole thing would explode. This is because the cold water traps all that immense residual stress. Number 12, metamaterial. The definition of a metamaterial is as follows, quote, a material engineered to have a property that is not found in nature. Metamaterials are created by using a number of elements that are taken from composite materials like plastics or metals and are then put into repeating patterns. Because of their physical properties, they are able to bend electromagnetic waves to their will by enhancing, bending, or even blocking them. Potential applications include crowd control, ultrasonic sensors, and even protecting structures from natural disasters such as earthquakes. Number 11, super hydrophobic coating. This is a surface layer that is nanoscopic and used in order to protect other surfaces from being exposed to water. There are five known bases to use in order to create these coatings, but the most effective one has proven to be made from silica-based nano coating. Number 10, liquid glass. Scientifically known as sodium silicate, liquid glass can come in either a solid form or as an aqueous solution. Sodium silicate is produced as a result when sodium carbonate and silicon dioxide become molten, while also producing carbon dioxide. It's used in a variety of applications, such as cars, refractories, and even in cement. Fun fact, eggs were once preserved by dipping them into the sodium silicate during the 20th century. It kept the bacteria out of the eggs and stayed fresh for up to five months. Number nine, amorphous metal. An amorphous metal has a multitude of ways that it can be created, such as mechanical alloying, solid state reaction, and extremely rapid cooling. Instead of having a crystalline structure like most other metals, these metals have what is described as a more glass-like structure. The main thing that separates them from the regular glass that is used in windows is that they're actually highly well at conducting electricity. Some of these amorphous metals are being used to test how well they act at fixing fractures. Number eight, one-way bulletproof glass. Also referred to as ballistic glass, this material is created by layering laminated glass. The more layers that the glass has, the more efficient it will be in protecting. It should be noted that bulletproof glass isn't 100% impervious to being penetrated, since no material really is, but it won't completely shatter like regular glass, thanks to being made out of a combination of hard and soft glass. This is what allows the layers of glass to flex instead of shatter. Number seven, DMSO. Also referred to as dimethyl sulfoxide, this chemical solvent was first created back in 1866 by a Russian scientist named Alexander Zaitez and was once a byproduct of wood pulping. It wasn't until the 1960s that it was realized it could seep into the skin at a quick rate and wasn't toxic to body tissue. It could also alleviate pain for a maximum of six hours, but because it was an industrial chemical already available, the pharmaceutical companies didn't pursue it because they wouldn't make a profit. Number six, starlight. Starlight is a type of plastic that was designed with an unbelievably high resistance to heat and was created during the 1970s and 80s by an amateur chemist whose name was Maurice Ward. The plastic composition is actually unknown because Ward simply didn't want to reveal it 
and never let any organizations keep samples after they tested Starlight because you didn't want them to reverse engineer it. It's been speculated that the material is made out of quote, organic polymers and copolymers with organic and inorganic additives. Number five, D3O. Scientifically known as polyborodimethylsiloxane, this material is specifically equipped to absorb the shock and disperse the energy from an impact. When D3O is left in its raw liquid form, it is able to quote, flow freely and when moved slowly, but on shock, locks together. Then it reverts back to its flexible state of being. It was first discovered back in 1999 by a British engineer named Richard Palmer when he was able to isolate it at the University of Hertfordshire, commonly applied to footwear, medical, and military uses. Number four, picrete. The substance was actually proposed as a candidate material to create an unsinkable aircraft carrier back during World War II by a man named Jeffrey Pike. Picrete is made up of 86% ice and 14% sawdust, and the weird mixture has some fascinating properties going on, such as the fact that it is much stronger than regular ice, almost resembling concrete, and has a low melting point. However, this is only the case when the mixture is kept frozen at a temperature of negative 16 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 26 degrees Celsius. Number three, aerogel. Also known as frozen smoke, aerogel is considered to be the lightest material that has ever been created. And now the lightest material has gotten even lighter. Aerogel is made by replacing the liquid component of a gel and replacing it with a gas. This brand new aerogel is made out of multi-walled carbon nanotube or MWCNT. Aerogels have been around since 1931 when they were created by Samuel Stevens Kistler and were generally made from metal oxides, polymers, and silica. So to produce aerogel out of nanotubes is remarkable as it's never been done before. Number two, Bacillophia. This substance is actually comprised of genetically modified microbes and was created by a team of students studying at Newcastle University in the UK. The students have managed to program these spores to be able to repair the cracks that produce in concrete over time. The spores will swim down into the cracks and begin to create a special mixture that is made up of bacterial glue and calcium carbonate that will harden to the same strength as the concrete around it. This is truly a wondrous invention. Before we reveal number one, let us know which one of these man-made substances you thought was the most interesting, and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, carbon nanotubes. Basically, what a carbon nanotube is, is that it's essentially a sheet of carbon that is approximately the thickness of one atom and rolled up into a cylinder. When viewed at a molecular level, the cylinders end up resembling chicken wire, but we can assure you it's much stronger than that since it's classified as being the strongest material known to modern day science. This is because graphene is, quote, the basic structural element in this allotrope. They're so incredibly thin that they're invisible to the naked eye, but appear to look like soot when many are placed together. 